What up? It's that Clay and Company podcast. Out here going, going hard. We got that Sleeko going on in the back. Shout out Sleeko, got bars. But yo, we're going to talk about a lot today. But real quick, let me run through what we're about to talk about. This is a little, this is a little headlines. We're going to talk about Joe Biden, of course. Tate Prince. Issa, the book of Issa, he just dropped a new album. Malik for mayor. And then we're going to talk about the Only Noise Cowboy event. We're going to talk about the worst day ever. I got, I, got, I got, this little, uh, got this little story about this girl. She didn't have the worst date ever. We're going to talk about that. And uh, shout out to C-Ray, man. Almost don't count. They back, back out there shooting. Shout out to King Judah. He dropping a project soon. We're going to talk about that, too. Shout out to Dope Donnie. He got a uh, product of my environment. It's out there. It's on all streaming handles. Check it out. Hey, yo, we're going to get into it, though. Clan Company Podcast. Stay tuned. Clan Company Podcast. And we back. I got this little clip, man. It relates to the whole Joe Biden thing. Her name Candace Owens. Just hear her out real quick. She uh she involved with the government, but she got her own opinion. But just listen to her opinion real quick, just based off of what you heard from Joe Biden. And then listen to this. I'm a, I'm gonna get into it after this. Absolutely not. I actually love Americans with black skin color so much that I'm willing to fall on the sword a thousand times for them to wake up and realize that we are being lied to, abused, and used by the Democrat Party. I'm I'm baffled because in the chairman's opening statement, he said that you openly associate with purveyors of hate. Yes, um, purveyors of hate, by his definition, is anybody that supports the president. I support the president because he's done a tremendous job in helping the black community, despite all of the rhetoric from the media and leftists, so, which do so, not want him to be successful. Tell me a little bit about how the president has helped the black community, if you would, please. Well, he's lowered the black unemployment rate. It's the lowest it's ever been in the history. Uh, he's getting us off of our feet. We see, uh, I believe the last number I checked was 3.5 million people are off of food stamps, something that the black caucus sat down and didn't applaud. Neither did any of the Democrats applaud uh, because they want a system where blacks are dependent on the government. Uh, uh, they, they are people that put in place the policies that broke down the black family. And the biggest problem that's facing our community is father absence. Um, in every room that I've been in with the president, he talks about real issues. And he doesn't pander to us. He doesn't do Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's southern drawl accent and speaking to us like we're slaves. He asks us important questions. And the most important question he could have asked was, black America, what do you have to lose? Because we were already losing under Democrat leadership. Yes, um, I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Lou believes that black people are stupid and will not f- uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted witness clip. The witness absent. will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or with, to a member of the committee. Uh, the witness will not do that again. The witness may continue. Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. <laughs> May I continue? <laughs> as I said, all he's right. assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two-hour clip. And he purposefully extracted, he cut off, and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany, when in fact, the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether or not I believed in nationalism, and that nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly what I was referring to in the clip, and he purposely wanted to give you a cut-up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative. That was unbelievably dishonest, and he did not allow me to respond to it, which is worrisome and to tell you a lot about where people are today in terms of trying to drum up narratives. By the way, I would like to also add that I work for Prager University, which is run by an Orthodox Jew, and a single Democrat showed up to the embassy opening in Jerusalem. I sat on a plane for 18 hours to make sure that I was there. I'm deeply offended by the insinuation of, of revealing that clip without the question that was asked of me. Hey, she went off though. But while I played that, I wasn't talking about what she was talking about at the end. 
with the clip because I ain't seen it. I ain't hip to what she talking about. I'm talking about what she was saying about Trump. Not saying that she was for Trump, but just, you know, what he's done. Like, does anybody really know? Like, a lot of people, they just be like, oh, okay, what what has Trump done? Like, they go to the CNBC, like, whatever, CNN, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? All they, all they, little, uh, all they little charts and shit, they all different. So, like, how do you know that that's the official? You feel me? And then, like, what is not counted? Like, I don't care. I don't care what it is. You see something, somebody do something. Even in class, I remember when I was a kid, people would do math. There's, like, steps that you're supposed to take in order to come up with a final number. Like, if you don't follow those steps, like, yeah, there might be another way you could figure out the number. But guess what? The number going to be different. You feel me? It don't matter if you're looking at graphs, charts. You count on people going out physically. It could be wrong somewhere. Like, numbers don't lie. I know that. But, like, how do you how do you know that, that those statistics are reaching the full scale of what they are giving you? You know what I mean? Like, that's just like with this COVID shit. They talk about the people that die in different states. They adding it up. Different nations, blah, blah, blah. How do you know that that's the official number? They're even saying that other countries are lying about the deaths. They're even saying in the hospitals that they're changing up what their protocol is. If someone dies, they're changing up the protocol for what they put down. Even doctors are coming out and saying it's like there's, they're probably getting deleted, but like there's videos, there's live feeds, doctors on the low talking about what's going on. Like, oh, they just forced me to say that this person died from COVID, but they died from cancer or they died from, you know, dot, 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 something else. It wasn't COVID, but the doctors just pushing them. Like, they get paid. They get cashed out so many thousands if they die of COVID. Have they bailed out the hospitals? Did they say that they did? How do you know? You work at a hospital, nigga. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about. I want to spur up the Joe Biden shit and then flip it and talk about, you know what I'm saying? Do you really want to trust Democrats or any other government, period? Period. Like, how you know? You don't know these people. You ain't you ain't touching them. Of course, you ain't touching them now because it's six feet. But still, how do you trust all these people? Like, you need, to, you need to do the facts. You need to search. Find out. See what's happening. Anyway, off that serious note. I'm on to the next song. Let's see what we got on here. Uh oh yeah. We got that Burb Jones right here. Shout out to Burb Jones. Rebel Spaz. I'm on my uh playlist on YouTube, Clan Company Podcast. Shout out Tate the Prince though, man. He's from Springfield, Ohio. He got a new video out. It's called Love One Another featuring John Legend, which is actually his uncle. You feel me? Tate the Prince is uh, John Legend's nephew. Representing for the O. Go on YouTube and check that out. It's, it's a dope video. It got a lot of cameos too. Shout out DJ Big Boy. He in there too. I fuck with him. Oh yeah, they got some new videos out this week, man. I was checking them out. I got them added under my YouTube. Look up Dayton Flyer on YouTube. Dayton Dot Flyer with two R's. I got Malik for Mayor on there. He got a new video called Smoke. C Money Baby got a new video called Numb. C Ray Nine Three Seven got the Hustle Hard and then Sleeko got bars. I believe I can fly. That's all on DaytonTopic.com right now. Yo, shout out Issa, man. He got the book of Issa that dropped. He got a lot of accolades on there too, man. He done he done ink cardinal official and 
Trey Parker to help him with the production. He got recognized in the Dayton Daily newspaper and on Hip Hop DX. Uh, he got Talib Kweli on the feature side. Like I heard about that like before it even came out. Like oh, he told me he was like he didn't tell me he was Talib, but he was just saying you know what I'm saying I got a feature coming. I got a feature coming. Somebody somebody bid. Like you gonna you, you gonna you gonna know like when you see it you gonna know like and I already knew when I seen it like just like when I said. Like he been able to perform with him on Dave Chappelle's event, like, and the new hit single "Don't Stop." That's on Spotify and all that. We gonna get back into this. I'm gonna get on the Only Noise recap. Last night they had a show. Shout out Christopher Daly. Shout out Jai. Shout out C Money Baby and everybody that participated. We gonna recap on it. Get into this Jason D.P. cast Called With Me Feet Bando Jones And we back Just like that Picasso baby This is Clay and Company Supporting Dayton Topic Visit DaytonTopic.com so, I'm here to tell you about that only noise, that event that happened last night for the COVID shit. Dope, dope. That's all I gotta say. Shout out to Chris Daly. Shout out to Jive. Shout out to all the people that was performing. Uh, Samurai West, Taz, Michael, uh, Miss Chloe for hosting. Dean Kale, Loudwater, C Money Baby, LSD. Hey, they had a lot of people performing, man. It's dope. I hope, hopefully, they could do something else like that, like keep it like a reoccurring type of thing. Cause, like, when it comes to the city, it's like a revolving door for artists. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of people making music. Like, you don't even know. Like, you could just be out somewhere, and like, you can't just say like a lot of people stereotype. Just be looking at somebody. You know, people be doing that. Like, yeah, look, look like he made music or something. Like, there's people that don't even look like they made music and they make fire music. Like you wouldn't even You'd be like Yeah right Him What Yeah We got some We got some uh, Post Malone's out here man Where people be like Nah he don't make music Turn out be uh, Make some fire Like Y'all ever heard this uh, This new C-Ray man He just dropped that video He just dropped that video For that hustle hard Shout out Mr. A plus on the beat Get into this real quick Yeah, that's that new C-Ray, man. That's that Hustle Hard. Go on C-Ray's YouTube. Check that out. It's also on datingtopic.com. You hear me? And uh, we're going to get into this next topic. Remember I was telling you, there was a woman out there. Uh, she had some dating problems. You feel me? Like anybody. But... Uh, Alright, here's what happened. I just want to give you my take on this. 
Shout out J. Dot Easy, man. It's the cream freestyle in the background. Ready? But we about to run through this real quick. Okay, so she said her worst date, this is off Twitter, her worst date will always be the one where she paid for the cinnamon ticket and the snacks. And her date reached out for the change from the cashier and put it in his pocket. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, just put it together just in case you ain't hear what I said. Got the crink, got Jada in the background. But, like, just imagine you going on a date with somebody that's on the flip side, even if it's for a guy. You feel me? Even if a guy is going on a date with a, with a woman. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you that respectable guy. You pay for whatever. So you paying for it, coming out your pocket, catering. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But what if it was on some, you know, like maybe you cashed out. You got a big bill, like say you got a 50 or you got a 100. You know what I'm saying? Y'all close to where it's like you give her the 100 or the 50, whatever, to pay for whatever. And say it ain't nowhere near close to 50 and the change is, you know, more than $10 and she pocketed it. Like what would you think of that? Some people, they would think different. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know different people that wouldn't care. I know some people that would. Some men. On the flip side, what if it was a woman doing that? Like, what if she was looking out? You know what I'm saying? I got this one. You know, I got this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, she paying. Just like it was in the situation with her. Like, her worst date. She paid for everything. And then, you know, homie taking the change. Now, if it's like a couple dollars, like, I don't see no. I don't know the details. This is a couple dollars, like, you know what I'm saying? What's that? Maybe he needed to change. Maybe he got to catch the bus. Maybe, you don't know. You don't know the dynamics behind it. But the gist of it is, I'm just trying to say, get your money up. You feel me? You shouldn't have to be relying on nobody to pay for stuff. Unless you're in a real situation. Unless you marry, you know what I'm saying? Or y'all got that agreement ahead of time. Story always changes if you got the agreement ahead of time versus doing it on the fly. Get into the rest of this cream freestyle. J Dot. Hey, that's on my uh my playlist though off my uh YouTube Clan Company podcast. Search it up. I'm gonna keep adding fire to it, promoting everybody's YouTube. Feel me? Only got that fire on there. But yo, about to wrap up the show. You feel me? Also, I want to shout out to Only Noise one more time. And if you didn't get. The cash app, you know, if you wanted to send some money to the fundraiser, you, you, I'm pretty sure you can still do it. So it's dollar sign COVID found fundraiser, C O V I D F U N D R A I S E R. Or you can hit them up on Facebook. I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? People listening to this support only noise. You can hit up Chris. You can hit up Ja. That's how you, you know what I'm saying? If they switched up to Cash App or whatever. Shout out to them, though, man. That, that was a great event. About to get into this Jason DBKS wrapping this up, y'all. Shout out to everybody listening, man. I appreciate it. Shout out to C Ray, man. I heard they was, uh, I saw footage, I saw pictures on his uh, Facebook. They back shooting Almost Don't Count Season 3. Hey, that's about to be fire. Shout out to Dope Donnie. Product of my environment, go check that out on all streaming handles. Check out the book of Issa, that's on all streaming handles. Let's get it. Jason DBK. Got my hustle up, movies out now.
to get the dough. Hustle, hustle, nigga, get some more. Try to give a million dollars to my mama, brother. That's what I'm in business for. Better know that I'm gon' get mad. The way that my turn up was my time. Cause that's what you think you can hate on your wall. No matter what you see, I'm gon' shine. Hustle long night, grind all day. Get to the money, that's always. Used to be broke as fuck, now see me coming up. Knew I would be ballin' one day. Now they all say, I knew you was gon' make